Assalamu alaikum, hello and welcome. It's Wednesday, it's, well, it's us. You are here with the two <laughs> white Muslims, which can only mean one thing. We have to start by doing this. Assalamu alaikum. Wa rahmatullahi. Wa barakatuh. My name's Junaid Rahim. <laughs> My name's Muhammad Yusuf Bashforth. And affectionately, we're referred to as... The two white Muslims. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> and you know this, you know this, of course you know this. You've been watching every Wednesday for I don't know how long. Um, but it's incredible. It's incredible. If for no other reason, I'm off work. I know. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Are you off work? Well, I'm off now until the 4th of January. Yay. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Because something's happening. <laughs> something's is. happening at the weekend. Across this nation. Something's happening across, absolutely across this the nation. Weekend. So we find ourselves in a time, don't we? At a time of year. Yes. That many people recognise this time of year. Yes. Because something odd happens. Yes. Let's yeah. Say, I, we can say it's odd. Yes. We can say it's special. We can it's special. Say it's, we say it's an amazing odd. time of year. It's different. It's an amazing time Something of year. Something happens. We're going to talk today a little bit about Christmas. Yes. Subhanallah. Yes. Bear in mind that this is your show. Yes. And we do this for you. We do this <coughs> for your benefit. If you like what we're doing, if you want to be involved in the show, why don't you give us a call? You feel free to do so. Ask us any questions you like and we may answer them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll certainly try. <laughs> but for tonight, as I said, we're going to be talking about uh, Christmas. Yes. Now, first of all, Junaid, mm -hmm. do you remember Christmas as a child? Do you know, I, I do. And, and I, I'll, I'll be honest, I have very affectionate memories of Christmas as a child because, as we're going to talk about uh, later, um, on the one side, it is a religious holiday, but on the other side, it's a wonderful time for families to get together because it is a time where everybody's it's, off work. It's the most wonderful time <laughs> it's, of the it's year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. There's somebody <laughs> out the there, he's got a list. How's the song go? He's checking it twice. <laughs> <coughs> but it's, you know, it's incredible. So I, I do, I have, I have rather affectionate memories of my, of my childhood and, and Christmas. How about yourself? Well, I'm always dreaming of a white Christmas, you know, just <laughs> yes, like the ones that just we like used to know. Just like the ones we used to know. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Not that we've had one for the last 50 no, years, of that's course. that's right. We'll yeah. talk about that as well. We will indeed. <laughs> Crazy. But, you know, um, th there's, there's a stark difference, isn't there? There's a huge difference in terms of, in terms of faith and practice, yes. isn't there, between, uh, between Islam yes. and, and Christianity. Yeah. And it's Christianity that, that focuses on uh, Christmas, Christmas as an event yes. and as a celebration. And so, yet, the first question that we're going to kind of ask ourselves is, OK, um, well, let's first of all, do you know, what? because you're saying we have Christmas and we have Islam uh, and we're looking at kind of how we practice religion and how Christians practice religion. Um, so if we're looking at the distinction between mosques and, Chris, uh, mosques and churches, yep. let's say specifically Christmas Day. Yes. Christmas Day, 25th of December, specifically Christmas Day. Would you expect mosques or churches to have more people in them on Christmas Day? That's a really tough question. It is a tough question. But do you know what? I'm going to stick my neck out here mm -hmm. and I'm going to say I think mosques will have more people in them. I would agree. Than churches. I would agree. Even on Christmas Day. Yes, we were together recently, is, weren't we? It's the, it's the Christian celebration of yes. the birth of Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, on Christmas Day, you'd expect the churches to be absolutely rammed yes. uh, and heaving. Yeah. But uh, sadly, when you look around... Possibly not the case. It's not always the case. You know, I, I do remember... I do, <laughs> we just, we've got a lovely background. We've got a lovely background. Oh, uh, <laughs> very good. Um, Have you got some chestnuts but, too? <laughs> on, on the yeah, open absolutely. fire. Have you? On the open fire. <laughs> um, but incredible, because I, I, you know, I, I, I do remember sort of midnight mass. Yeah and people go into Midnight Mass. I don't think I ever went, because of course as a child, I was too young, so we never really went to church well, on Christmas. I lived, I lived opposite the church. I was going to say you did, I lived yes. opposite the church. Yes. So, yeah. uh, so I did go to yeah. Midnight Mass. Yes. Yeah. And do you know what, I quite liked it. I was just about to, and that's the thing. I quite liked it. When we say we probably expect more, mosques, more Muslims to be in mosques than Christians to be in churches, we're not necessarily, that's a good thing, I think if people are celebrating, just it's a thing. It's a thing. Yeah. If we're saying that people are celebrating a religious festival, then the point of focus for that religion should be packed. Yes. Churches should be rammed to yeah. overflowing. You know, we are uh, celebrating and uh, uh, you know praying towards the same God. Yes. And if if more people believed in God, first of all, 
you know, the world would be a better place. Yes, it, it would. would. And if people practice that faith. Yep. Of course, I believe that Islam is and should be the choice, is, is, is the choice for many people, should be the choice for everyone. For everybody. Of course yeah. I believe yeah. that. Of course I do. But at least people being religious is a fantastic start. Yes. So actually I find it, oh, I just find it a little bit upsetting that the, the churches will not be full to That's the right. rafters That's on right. Christmas Day. Now we, we know that the mosque will be because we were together recently, weren't we? We were. It was extraordinary. And we, we bumped into a, a Muslim brother. Yes. And oh, 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 have you seen this? Have you seen this? And he got his, his phone out and he showed us a, 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 a poster yes. for his local mosque, uh, which was... They're doing a day of dhikr. A day of dhikr on what day? Christmas, Christmas day. day. Christmas Day. Christmas Day. And <laughs> so the, the mosque, and he said, oh, we do it every year. And the mosque is heaving. There's so many people there. And actually, I've heard of this through many, many, many mosques up and down this wonderful great British Isle of ours. Yeah. So there will be loads of people praying to God yes. on Christmas Day. Yeah. It's just an awful lot of them are going to be um, Muslim. Do you know what? I'm very sure mm. that there are going to be more people in the mosques yes. than, than people in churches yeah. on Christmas Eve this year. Uh, I, I can you know guarantee why? that. Yes, you know yes, why? I do know because why. Because Christmas Eve is Jummah. It's Jummah. It's Jummah. So, yes. You know, and we're on holiday. So as an example, I can take my boys. I can take my yeah, boys. It's brilliant. Alhamdulillah. You know, so yeah, you know, amazing when you consider. Though, though, I mean, Christmas, let, let's face it, it's become uh, something of a retail extravaganza. Yes. That's what people do. Yeah. They buy things at Christmas time. Its holiday roots, however, lie in the celebration of the birth of Jesus, mm -hmm. who the Christians uh, still regard as the Son of God. Yes. But Jesus was, 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 he, was he really born? Was Jesus born on the 25th of December? That's a question. Yeah, the question. So was, was Jesus actually born on what is considered Christmas Day? And I guess what, the short answer is no. No. The short answer is absolutely no. Um, it's not believed that Jesus was born on the day Christmas is globally celebrated. In fact, Christmas was chosen as a convenient celebratory day, a day of celebration, because it was on the same day of a pagan holiday that was already celebrated, and it celebrated the winter solstice, the solstice in winter, according to, and this is according to the History Channel, and I have to say, many history books, even when I was a Christian, yep. I remember knowing all about this. Yep. The holiday was celebrated as the Roman pagan solstice or birthday of the unconquered sun, which began on December 25th and end, uh, sorry, December 17th from memory and ended on what we now see as Christmas Day, December 25th. December 25th, mm -hmm. that's right. So, why, so why, why, do we, why, do we, why do we hear Christians talking about the birth of Jesus being in December then? Well, okay, hmm. when Jesus was really born, can be assumed uh, based on, on scripture itself. Mm -hmm. So uh, one large plot point in the story of Jesus' birth is the presence of shepherds watching over their flocks. Yeah. While shepherds watch their flocks While by shepherds night. shepherds watch their flocks by All night. All seated on the ground. Yeah. yeah. The angel of the, Lord, angel came, of the Lord came yeah, down. Absolutely. So, <laughs> yes. I mean, this is clearly outlined in the Bible mm -hmm. in uh, the chapter of Luke, yes. which is chapter 2, verses 7 and 8. Uh, and is such a prominent part of the story of the birth of Jesus, it's been featured in Christmas songs uh, ad ad abound. Mm. So this is all uh, according to the United Church of God. Yes, yes. And so, you know, do we, um, do we believe that Jesus was born? Absolutely. It's just a case of when, I suppose. Yep. It's just a case of when. So multiple sources, including Celebrations, the complete book of American holidays, and the interpreters, one volume commentary, comment that the weather would not have permitted shepherds to be tending to their flocks at the end of December. It just wouldn't have been possible. Instead, it actually implies that Jesus was probably born during the warmer months. Another quite major plot point here regarding Jesus' birth, mm -hmm. uh, and parents, uh, Mary and Joseph, they commuted, didn't they, between, yeah. uh, between where they were at that time to their hometown of Bethlehem. Yes. Now that was a hefty journey, yes. that was a long journey to yep. take. Um, so the, the concept of, of Mary and Joseph having to travel to Bethlehem uh, for the Roman census, the census at that right. time. Yeah. Now the census would not have occurred in winter. No. That just would not have happened, mm. specifically not December, because the turnout would have been so low 
because it was too cold to yes. go out. Yeah, to travel, and it was a significant yeah. commitment for people to travel that mm. distance for the census, yeah. which again, historically, uh, we know to be true. Yeah. We know that these censuses w did actually occur. Um, well, as for when Jesus then, uh, uh, may Allah be pleased with him, was really born, well, many Christians actually base their calculation on the birth of Jesus' cousin, which was John the Baptist. And I remember as a kid hearing about John the Baptist and then learning that they met, that they met, and it, it's because they were cousins. Of course they were they cousins, were. and yeah. they had really significant influence on each other's Absolutely life. It's did. tremendous. Yeah. Now, John was conceived six months before Jesus. If his birth had taken into consideration, it leaves Jesus' birth probably in June. Uh -huh. Like we say, the, the, the summer months. The warmer months. Yeah. yeah, the United Church of God specifically names somewhere between the 13th and the 17th of June. That's a likely time for when Jesus, may Allah be pleased with him, was actually born. According to the author William Walsh, uh, as published in 19, the 1970 book, The Story of Santa Claus, the Christian decision to use December the 25th as the global holiday to commemorate the birth of Jesus came about as a way to hopefully convert pagans to Christianity because the pagan festival of the winter solstice mm -hmm. took place around the 25th of December yeah. and they tried to align <coughs> Christianity with this pagan ritual yeah. so that pagans would hopefully take another look at Christianity yeah. and embrace it for themselves. Yeah. So it was seen as a compromise mm -hmm. between two very opposing beliefs. Yeah, but also incredibly clever. Oh yeah. I mean, genius. Yes. You know, if we think that, you know, we all want people to be people of the book. We all yes. want people to celebrate one God, not pagan worship, but celebrate one God. So actually in aligning the two festivals and bringing them together where eventually, let's be honest, Christmas has overtaken that pagan ritual. Yes, it has. That's genius. Yep. Because then you've got these people who would not necessarily have considered there being one God, one God, Allah Almighty, just one God, now thinking about it. Genius. Yes. Genius. So, that said, contrary to the song which says, Mary's boy child, Jesus Christ was, was born, born on, on Christmas, Christmas Day. Day. <laughs> One thing that we can pretty much guarantee is, no. <laughs> Jesus Whilst was... we agree that Jesus was born, we yeah. agree that, and alhamdulillah, we think that is amazing. It wasn't on Christmas Day. Not on Christmas no. Day. So what else? What else does Christmas tell us then? What else is, is associated with Christmas? Well, it's, it's, it's a season of goodwill to all men. It surely. is. It surely. is. Yes. And it's a season of... Um, well, I'll tell you what, when I was a child and when I was looking forward to the Christmas Day happening, yeah. I was looking forward to a guy with a big white beard and a yep. red suit yes. coming down the chimney. Yes. Now, I was dyslexic as a child <laughs> and the thought of Satan coming down the <laughs> chimney was... <laughs> Trying to get you to believe in dog. <laughs> It's the same letters. <laughs> exactly, just jumbled up. Yeah, so, oh. but, uh, but looking forward to Christmas yes. was looking forward to the things that I was going to receive in terms yes. of presents, of course. Yeah. So we come on to the subject of Santa Claus. Yes, yeah, so which, let's, let's be honest, is, is intrinsically linked with Christmas. Yes, it is. So uh, let's take a look at, well, first of all, where did Santa come from? Mm -hmm. Is he real? Mm. So let, let's look at the history of Santa Claus. And again, it's fascinating because we kind of we've got to know where these people come from where these traditions come from and if we take the american version of santa claus well actually the figure received its inspiration and its name from the dutch legend of santa claus which was brought by the dutch settlers to the new world specifically new york in the 17th century fascinating so the dutch feast of saint nicholas mm -hmm is about giving. It's about giving things. Mm -hmm. So Sinterklaas is the most important tradition for the Dutch and a 2008 uh, Centre for Dutch Culture survey found uh, that so celebrating the evening of December the 5th with traditionally tasty foods mm. is the, the main time for family gift giving. Yes. So actually uh, in the Dutch tradition, mm -hmm. the uh, the fifth of December is more important in terms of Santa Claus in giving presents and eating nice food. Yes, yeah, and actually, the second ranked tradition is decorating a Christmas tree. Yes, 
It is. Yes. We, when, when we look at things, we're going to have a little chat about that later on, we will. which is incredibly fascinating. Um, that is then followed by Queen's Day, which is April 30th. I'll be honest, hadn't heard of that. No. Extraordinary. Hadn't heard of it. Uh, blowing out birthday candles and eating raw herring were also in the top ten things. So this is the Dutch census, yes. I presume, <laughs> because eating raw herring yes. doesn't happen in my house. That is either. not no. a British tradition. <laughs> I no. certainly don't think it's an Islamic tradition. <laughs> no. Raw herring. No. Actually, roll up herring. Quite nice. Oh, Pickled okay. in vinegar. Yeah. I think I'll stick right. with the the, brood, uh, with the with the bread and uh, uh, olive oil. You're going to stick. <laughs> you're going to stick with balsamic vinegar. Balsamic olive, vinegar. Olive oil and yeah. a breadstick. Yes. Fine. Yes. Fine. You know, uh, Sinterklaas uh, was originally depicted as a bishop, dressed in red, with his mm -hmm. bishop's hat on. Yeah. All red, with, yes. a, with a big cross on the front. Yeah. Uh, bringing presents to, to poor children. Yeah, yeah. So he was a bishop on ho horseback, mm -hmm. and, it, and he, he wore the red costume and the red hat, and he used to bring presents to children, mm -hmm. the poor children, in those days. Yes. Alhamdulillah. And again, we, we continue talking about Santa Claus, not Father Christmas. Uh -huh. The two are very different. Yes. I always thought they were exactly the same. No. <laughs> um, actually, the American image of Santa Claus was introduced by the illustrator Thomas Nast, who depicted a rotund chap, uh, a rotund, big, heavy, rotund Santa for the Christmas issue of Harper's Magazine. This is in, well, somewhere between the 1860s and 1880s. Nast added such details as Santa's workshop being at the North Pole, Santa having a list of the good and the bad children of the world, and very much this, this image of a jolly fat man. This image of a jolly fat man mm -hmm. with a big white beard, yep. dressed in red, yes. red and white, yes. and uh, riding a sleigh in the snow. Yes. Yeah. This human-sized version of Santa Claus mm -hmm. was depicted in a series of illustrations brought about as advertising illustrations for none other than the Coca-Cola company uh, who advertised wow. using that image uh, in 1931. Yes. So the image that we have today of Santa Claus, mm -hmm. uh, the image of the, like I said, the big fat guy with, with wearing red and, and white uh, and, and fur-lined uh, red costume with a big white beard and a floppy, floppy red hat, yep. that image was a depiction from an illustration on a Coca-Cola advertisement yes. in 1931. Yep. Now these adverts introduced uh, and made the Red Santa uh, uh, an absolute icon. Yes. Because everybody now, when I say uh, close your eyes and picture Santa, what happens? <laughs> yeah, well, that's what you see. That's exactly what you and see. And that's where the name Father Christmas came from. Yes. They wanted to disassociate from Santa Claus yes. and almost make it their own. Yes, they, they, they wanted to steal yes. the concept of Santa Claus yes. for their own brand image. Yes, and of think, about it. think about it. What colour? is the, the, the background of the brand for Coca-Cola. It's red. It's red. And what colour is the writing? It's white. So it's white lines on a big red background. Yes, it is. What's Father Christmas? He's a big red background big with red white background lines on it. With white lines on the, it. I mean, it is oh astonishingly goodness. successful. Yes. The most successful advertising campaign one Must would suggest. Be of all time. Of all time yeah. and ever. It, it also reinforces the importance of brand image. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. Coca-Cola remains the number one selling soft drink in the world. That's excluding water, to be fair, bottled water. Yep. Bottled water has taken over, but yep. Coca-Cola remains the number one soft selling drink. Yes, it does. There's one country in the world where Coca-Cola is sold, but it's not the number one selling soft drink. Okay. Do you know where that country is? I do. Go on. It's Scotland. It is Scotland. It's Scotland. Because they I'm drink brew. I am brew, which is made in Scotland from Goodness. Gurders. <laughs> <Apparently. laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been told there, of course, are other drinks out there. Other for, drinks are for, available. For other yes, of course. I'm throwing that one in from a good lady, who is of course uh, was of course born in Scotland. Born in Glasgow. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. If we're looking at Father Christmas, yeah. One thing we can confirm, he had a big beard. Yes, he did. One thing we can also confirm. Not a Muslim. He was not Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> In spite of having a long kurta yes, and, yes, a big yes, beard, and a big beard and a topi, you know. he was not Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> and let's be honest, to look at him, probably got diabetes. 
Probably. You know what I mean? Probably. But no, All those mince not pies he ate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and his not carrots for Rudolph. Yeah, billions he has in a night. Well, he only has half of them. <laughs> yeah, he only takes one bite. He takes one bite. Oh, my rest. goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I used to uh, think as a kid, isn't he still hungry? <laughs> <laughs> you can't fill up yeah. on just one bite. Can I just one bite? It's ridiculous. <laughs> why is Rudolph all, I mean, oh, half a carrot? And why did my dad have pastry crumb bread? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why did he keep eyeing up the other half? <laughs> oh, dear. Fantastic. So, oh. um, you know, gen generally speaking, people have, have simply got the wrong idea yeah. about Christmas, you yeah. know? Yeah. And, and we know that for sure, don't we? Because yes. some years ago, uh, Janaid and I conducted a survey. We did. We asked so many people yes, yes. the same question. Yeah. And yeah. this survey produced some quite surprising results. It really did. Yeah. And you know, as as, uh, as 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 Muslims, we all we often say, we often say, I'm I say, and, and Brother Yusuf were exactly the same. I now know more about Christianity as a Muslim than I did as a Christian. As a Christian, I know. And again, it's not a bad thing. You know, it's just a it's thing. It's just a thing. Yeah. Um, I one know thing more we do about is... Jesus yes. today as yes. a Muslim than I ever knew about Jesus yes. when I was a Christian. Absolutely. And, and, and yeah. more aspects of his life, the pennies have dropped for me since converting to Islam. Yeah. Uh, it is incredible. So we were left with the kind of the heritage of Christmas because as children, you know, we, we had Christmas and, you know, m my parents are, are still Christian. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and, and I will show them the utmost of respect. And Absolutely. so they're celebrating Christmas. Absolutely. I, I'm not going to tell them that's the wrong thing to do. No, no, no. You know, no, no. many members of your family still remain Christian. Christian. Yep. And um, they, they will be celebrating Christmas. Yes, absolutely. And they will be inviting me to their uh, celebration. Yes. Yeah. Do you know what? I will go. Yes, and because we're going to talk about that a little family. bit later on as well. We were family, and so we, we kind of we just wanted to to take the you know the, the 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 echoes of Christmas from our past and consider well what we do going forward. Because obviously you know our big celebrations are during Ramadan and, and Eid and, and 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 of course they are as they should be. But yes. what yeah, what did Christmas actually mean? So go on, we spoke to well, quite a number of people, we, and what did we, we ask We them? conducted a survey, and we asked the question, mm -hmm. name the first five mm. things that come into your mind when I ask, what does Christmas mean to you? Yeah. Uh, think what, about that. Think about, what's the first five things that spring to mind? If we say Christmas, what are the first five things that spring to mind? to mind. Now, we've got the results of that survey. Yes. And we're going to reveal those results after this short break. Yes. But have a think about it during the break. What do you think people said when we said list the first five things that come to mind when we say Christmas? We'll see you after this break, inshallah. <laughs> 